Welcome back to Vinny's Aquatics. All right, everybody. Today we're in Greenwich, Connecticut. We're at the boat docks. Checking out all the nice boats. It's a pretty nice day out. A little gray. But we're down here to do a job. We got to put some 22 karat gold leaf lettering on the back of a boat. So let's make our way down these docks. And let's see what's going on. Now, I don't know about you guys, but every time I'm around a dock and I, I think of that scene from Jaws with that poor little Kipner boy just spilling out all over the docks. Look, fellas, let's be reasonable, huh? This is not the time or the place to perform some kind of a half-assed autopsy on a fish. And I am not going to stand here and see that thing cut open and see that little Kettner boy spill out all over the dock. I don't know about you, but I love the mayor in Jaws. <laughs> the guy is a great character. Uh, here, as we're walking down the docks, there's a there's a Grateful Dead inspired boat. And uh, you know what I you know what I think about the Grateful Dead guys? Uh, excuse me, I just fell asleep thinking about them. Not really a dead fan. But back to Jaws. The mayor was great. To, to, to best, he wanted to hang kids up by their Buster Browns just for spray painting on one of his billboards. Uh, another thing, I'm not sure if you're old enough to remember this, but do you remember the, the scene where the mayor was smoking in the hospital? I mean, when was that ever a good idea? Who thought that was good to do? Let's just smoke in a hospital. It's only 1975, people. I think, I think when I hit 1,000 subscribers, we're gonna do a live stream and we're all gonna watch Jaws together. Because that movie is a classic. But enough Jaws talk for now. Let's kick that intro. I started out the day early this morning in my shop. I'm putting everything together to go do this boat. I'm basically laying the 22 carat over the blue so I have a nice outline. This is what it looks like before it gets all put together. This is actual 22 carat sign gold vinyl. Don't use the other vinyl. It's not 22 carat. You're going to end up with silver letters in about six months because the color fades. This is 22 carat. This is what it looks like when it's all put together before I go apply it. Now, here we are. That's my buddy Pete. You saw him a little bit before in an early video. He's gonna clean down the back. They usually wax the living crap out of the back of these boats. So you gotta make sure you clean it down good. I recommend some uh, R&M wax and silicone remover. It works very well. Then a little bit of Windex afterward to get any grease off. The last thing you wanna do is in the sun and all the different uh, you know, the water splashing on it, you don't want it to fall off. So make sure you prep your surface well. Now what I'm doing here, I've taped up the vinyl, I measured it all out. Remember, measure twice, do the job once, because there's a bow to the uh, top of the transom, so you gotta make sure you get it on level, and you really can't use a level because you don't know if anything's actually sitting level. So with measurements, I have everything on there, and I'm ready to go. Ah, and an FYI, this water is disgusting, all right? It's disgusting, and we need to stop it. Let's keep our water clean. Can we, can we try to do that? Now, here's everything. It's all taped up. Now, I've cut in between the graphics where possible, so I don't have to work with big sections at a time. Uh, there's a, a wax-coated uh, relief on the back, a backer, which you see now I'm going to slowly peel off to expose the adhesive side. I do it solid blue background instead of a blue outline because at the time the heat causes it to separate and you will get a, a, a separation in between the outline and the actual gold. So I apply the gold right to the right to the blue and go from there. I think that's, I've, I've seen over the, you know, my God, how many years I've been doing this, that that seems to work the best. So what I'm doing now is I'm gonna uh, take my squeegee and I'm going to spray the top of the tape that makes it release easier and it helps to get the bubbles out a little bit more. That's a little trick I learned over the years. 
So you just want to squeegee now to make sure you get all the bubbles out. You, you don't you don't want to put a wrinkle in it because if you put a wrinkle in this gold, it's not coming out and you're going to have to do a new letter. And to be honest, the gold vinyl, it's not as expensive as actual gold leaf, but it's definitely, it's definitely not cheap. Back to what we were talking about before, though, about uh, smoking in the hospital in Jaws. Well, I don't know if any of you, yes, some of you are, but who remembers ashtrays on airplanes? Like in the seat, in the armrest, there was an ashtray on an airplane. And the weirdest thing to me was they had a, a, a non-smoking section. Like, like if the guy's smoking 10 feet away from me in an enclosed pressurized cabin, like his smoke is not going to come over where I am. I'm safe. I'm just safe as heck in that, uh, in that no smoking zone. What were we thinking? Well, again, what were we thinking? Why wouldn't you smoke on an airplane? Come on. That, we did stop it, which... I don't know why it took us so long. Now, back to what I'm doing. I've got most of it on. I'm gonna peel the back off the final letter of the of the name. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna. I don't know what I'm doing. Why am I taking so long, Vinny? Speed it up. There's a camera on you. Oh yeah. Besides that, today is the first time I ever had a camera person. My buddy Pete, who you saw before, was kind enough to watch me work and videotape this for me. Which, I gotta admit, it's really cool. All you people out there with camera people, I am definitely envious of you. Cause you can do a lot more when you're not doing everything by yourself. So I went down the background. I'm gonna hinge, this is called the hinge method by the way. When I put the blue tape across the top, this is called the hinge method. This way I know I can work on section. I don't have to try to place the whole thing in one shot on a grease pencil line. I know once it's blue taped across the top, it's not going anywhere. I can lift it up, I can peel the backer off, and I can apply the letters. That's probably the best way to do things like this, if you ask my opinion.